DNA also shows uh, some degree of instability when it is present in water. So uh, DNA has three kinds of bonds with the potential for hydrolytic cleavage. So uh, this instability is mainly due to hydrolytic bond cleavage. So mainly three bonds are present in the DNA molecule which can be broken and these are phosphodiester bond, N-glycosyl bond and bonds linking exocyclic amine groups to bases. So these three bonds are prone to hydrolytic cleavage. So uh, hydrolytic bond cleavage in this uh, diagram you can see the arrows pointing different bonds which can be broken by uh, hydrolytic cleavage and uh, different uh, colors indicate different types of bonds. So in this uh, diagram you can see uh, phosphodiester uh, bonds and uh, N-glycosyl bonds and some other bonds as well. Spontaneous phosphodiester bond cleavage which introduces a nick in the DNA strand. So uh, in a DNA strand you know two uh, nucleotides are joined together through phosphodiester linkage. So uh, these phosphodiester linkages can be broken uh, down spontaneously. So it produces uh, a nick in the DNA strand. But this is of very rare occurrence and it doesn't make a significant contribution to the DNA damage. So, so uh, this is not uh, uh, that uh, uh, significant uh, as far as the DNA damage is concerned. The second type of bond uh, that is N-glycosyl bond. So N-glycosyl bond cleavage leads to the formation of an abasic site which is also known as an AP site and this AP stands for a purinic or a pyrimidinic basis. So here uh, you can see two examples of AP sites. So this is normal uh, strand and here here should be one nitrogenous base which has been broken. So this base was attached to the ribose sugar through N-glycosyl linkage which is present here. So this linkage was broken and now this AP site is produced. So this site is called AP site and this AP site has closed deoxyribose ring. While in this case you can see here again this AP site is produced and uh, one uh, nitrogen base is missing. But here the ring is open, deoxyribose ring is open and one free aldehyde group is present in this. This aldehyde group is uh, very dangerous for the DNA molecule. According to current estimates, about 10,000 purine and about 500 pyrimidine bases are lost from DNA in a mammalian cell nucleus each day. So uh, you can imagine this is a big loss and uh, uh, these are either lost or damaged by different agents. Experiments are also showing that purine and glycosyl bonds are more easily hydrolyzed as compared to pyrimidine and glycosyl bonds. So that's the reason uh, about 10,000 purines while only 500 pyrimidines are damaged. AP site formation sensitizes the neighboring 3 prime phosphodiester bond to cleavage which can be attributed to the formation of a free aldehyde group. So uh, due to the uh, AP site a free aldehyde group is present and this free aldehyde group it sensitizes the neighboring phosphodiester bond so uh, that bond uh, then uh, cleaves a dna strand 
with one or more AP sites makes a poor template because it lacks the information required to direct accurate replication and transcription.